hello and welcome. How is everybody doing tonight? Good to see you. Good to see you all. Hello, Lysithiel, Primark, Russ, Liz, and Captain Gavinsky. How are you doing this evening? Uh, so, what we're doing tonight is, as I'm sure you know, I said it a bunch of times before, we are playing The Evil Within, but this is the first time I've ever played, never played this game before. First time I played it, let's do it live on stream so you get to experience Hadouken! me shitting my pants or whatever happens <laughs> throughout the game, like all the way through. Hadouken! So, with the intro out of the way, I can redeem today's t shirt. Today's t shirt is Bocasa Crimson Riders. This is the album art for their second album. Fantastic band, by the way. Go look and check them out if you haven't checked them out. Uh, which I bought when we were live, well, when we saw them live, sorry, at a gig in uh, the Underworld in Camden, uh, in the tiny little arena that they got down there for like live music and stuff, where they also host a nightclub and that. And it was an absolutely wicked gig. Really, really close, close quarters, mosh pits everywhere, loads of beer. Good times were had by all, I think. It was a quality, quality gig. Right. Let's no wrong option. Bring that volume down a little bit. <clears throat> uh, right, without further ado, let's um let's play this for the first time. I now I have admittedly I have started it up. And just got to the first bit where you can control the character just to mess around with a few of the options. So uh, lights off. Lights off is a spoopy, spoopy game. Gotta have them lights off. Let me know how the audio is and stuff. I can lower it or raise it or whatever. Uh, right, let's do a new game. Um, yeah, that'll do. On survival mode. It's normal difficulty. Normal difficulty is good. Spoopy televisions. Chapter one, an emergency call. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this because I heard good things. Uh, a couple of people have told me that I really, really enjoy this game. Um, so really looking forward to it. Wait, was that blood always on the TV? I've only just noticed that now. Beacon Mental Hospital. Beacon Mental Hospital. Code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 3 minutes, four. jerk. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. None Is of these riot? people are wearing their seatbelts, and that really PTO upsets me. Said it was multiple homicides. Especially if they're all police. Already on scene. One, three, one. Please hey, he beats the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. Don't joke, it's that's probably the plot of Some this game. Patients disappeared. <laughs> Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven, one, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. Why? Whoa, whoa what's with the sealed. weird bondage leather gloves? Anyone on scene respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with your Plans for playing the second one after. Um, not immediately afterwards, but yeah. I probably will. If I enjoy this one, I will. Jesus. Woman in the back did not react to that. That's very sus already. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. That woman is sus. Ooh, what is that? Junior Detective Kid. Any thoughts? Oh, that man's texture's just loaded. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Yeah, she's really sus. She's weird. Action shot. Like, these are their stories. Dun dun! Dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Wait, what was that poll? How long before I die? See, I'm the sensible one. I wore a coat. Of 
Crimson City Police Department. Really? Really? We live in a city called Crimson City. That's just Silent Hill levels of bullshit going on right here. Okay. She's going that way. Weapons left in their cars. And he's going this way. What, no weapons left in the cars? Damn it, I wanted a shotgun. Police have shotguns in their cars, don't they? No blood or shell casings out here. It's Crimson City with a K, like Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, my guy runs so slowly. Look at him running. Right on the inside. Smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. Okay, he draws his gun and goes We're in. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone. She else draws her gun. Door. I can be ready to go. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Where's my gun? Hmm. Why don't I get a gun? He's giving me something. <laughs> Bloodburg. This is giving me. Someone alive in here. Um. This is giving me serious like Raccoon City Police Hospital. Oh, Raccoon City Police Hospital. Raccoon City Hospital vibes. Yeah, even that kind of looks like an umbrella logo, sort of. So the lighthouse. Hadouken. Ah, oh, hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, Dr. Shipman. Thank you. How you doing, by the way? Nice to see you in the stream. <sighs> okay. Well. Bloodberg would have been more appropriate, it seems. Yeah, this guy's alright. Nope. No, he's not. No, he's, he's just napping. All these people sleeping on the job. All these people sleeping on the job. Can't believe it. Oh, he looks like a policeman, actually. That's not good. He's a policeman. Yeah, doing, doing good, thanks, man. Um, I heard, unfortunately, in your Nuzlocke run, you lost Womanky and Dicklet. <laughs> Who I'm assuming was Diglet, Which sucks, man. Womanky was with you from the start, I swear. Are you injured? What happened here? Nope, but he got crazy eyes. Can't be real. Impossible. Rubik is... I'm drinking Aldi's I've finest vintage cider. The security cameras might tell us something. Not Womanky, no. Oh. Hey, this is straight from Resident Evil 6, I swear. Oh, that's some Assassin's Creed special attack levels of shit right there. Oh, Ezio's had better days. Hadouken! We got stabbed in the eye. I will redeem the hydrates after the cutscene ends. I don't want to miss anything as this is my first playthrough. Oh, hello, Mr. Rat. Can you, uh... Get me out... Down? I'm assuming I'm hanging upside down. Wow, that's some Outlast. That's, that's, that, guy, that guy's from Outlast, isn't he? Hmm, that knife is glinting and looks as like it can be interacted with. Love the old classical music while he's just butchering up corpses, this guy. What's he got there? He's got... Is that half of a policeman? 
Well, take care of the other half of that policeman. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll resume the drinks. There you go, half a pint. Uh. <sighs> oh, I gotta swing. Swing for the knife. Swing for the knife, baby. Almost got it. Oh, nearly got it. Come on, buddy. Whoa, so close. Yes! Well, that came out really easily. Yeah, I ain't doing all of them because, you know, I want to enjoy this game. So there you go. That's two thirds of a pint gone. <sighs> Alright. Oh no, I lost my cool overcoat. Why do you walk so slowly in this game? I hope this isn't like the movements, overall movement speed for the game. R1 to sneak. Is it toggle? Yeah, it's toggle. Whoop. Oh. Hi. Oh, what's this? Ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Okay, this is cool. It's kind of like Resident Evil, in a way. Like, find keys to open doors. He lost the coat when he was drunk. Oh! Uh, another fresh one. Oh, shit. I think he's coming back. Oh, was that to show me how to use the keys? Can I kill that dude? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try killing that dude. He has to take a long time opening that door, doesn't he? I'll kill this guy if we can. I got a knife. Let's wait for him to come back from his little laboratoire. Screw it, I'm gonna kill him. I wanna kill him. Stab him in the head! I said the head, not the shoulder. Oh god, is there nothing I can do? <laughs> That's fine, you can grow that back. That might be a bit harder to grow back. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? You penis. Oh, that was cool. Like, people just appeared at the thing. Alright. I mean, if he stabbed him in the head like I told him to, we would have been fine. Let's get the keys again. Yeah, I do. You know, he may be like, 14 minutes. Ha ha, your prediction was wrong. It said 15 to 30 minutes. Well, it's not my fault that he didn't stab him in the head like I asked him to. I said stab him in the head, but no, he had to stab him in the shoulder because he's an idiot. Spend 10 minutes unlocking a door. Yo, uh, Gavinsky, if I. I probably. I'm definitely not gonna get there, like, tonight, but if I do get to a point that you haven't done, just let me know, man. And I'll, like, pause it if you wanna duck out. Ah, oh, can I do, like, an Assassin's Creed and, like, jump on him from above? Stab him in the head that way. 
jump down here. Uh oh. Oh, of course he has a chainsaw. Of course he has a chainsaw. Leg it. Good thing all these doors are unlocked, huh? Oh, man. He's quick. Oh. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah. Quick, get the hatch, get the hatch, get the hatch. Big danger, big danger. Oh, now I'm in a corpse shoot. This is some sore levels of shit going on right here. Mmm. Mmm. Corpse soup. Oh yeah, I fucked my leg up. Didn't I? He cut my leg with the chainsaw. But he came out of that remarkably clean. He's got like no blood in his clothes or anything. Cut my leg into pieces, more like. But yeah, as I said uh, before, like during the you know the intense bits and stuff, just let me know if the uh, audio balance is okay, because I can always change that. Oh, okay. Fastest way to get like sepsis and gangrene. Ripping off Clanker's insides while sitting in here. <laughs> A training hospital. Is it storm? Yep, open wood plus sewers plus all that weird, like, blood soup that we just landed in. Escaping from the chainsaw man. Because of course Where's there's the, the chainsaw man. Oh, he speaks. That guy has a voice. Old note from the sewer. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which will take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you could find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. Ah. Oh. Ooh, what's been going on in here? This is interesting. Okay, that's padlocked. And that's double padlocked. Fourteen hundred and anti vice clinic. There was another door. I just want to quickly go and explore this other door. I hope my leg gets better soon because I don't want to limp for the rest of the game. <laughs> Locked with an iron grate. No worries. I'm predicting jump scare. Resident Evil 3 remake style, where like someone just grabs you by the head or something, pulls you up. No? Okay. What is this? Boiler room note. 
1 p.m. Stem system operational test begins. 1.15. Success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. 1.30. Anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. Oh, this goes on forever. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then went into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the stem system terminated. 1.45. Staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after the other. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the stem system should have been deactivated, the subjects maintained brainwave synchronization with the host. He, that man appeared. Itchy tasty. That's all I gotta say about that. I actually have to press a button to open the doors. Okay. That looks interactable. Can I have it? No. Okay. Damn, they got a lot of, like, space under this hospital. How big is this? Is the whole game set in the hospital or something? Maybe. Skynet's late as always. 25 minutes late. Okay, now don't hide in the locker because I'm leaving a trail of blood behind me. Better hide. But I'm leaving a trail of blood behind me. Oh no, this is spoopy. It's like Melga Solid 2, but with a chainsaw man instead of guards. I'm scared! Yeah! Indeed! Alright, level face, calm down. I don't like the look of it. Good lord, what is happening in there? <sighs> I have to do the crash dance in the dark. He does love that chainsaw, doesn't he? It would be a shame if I was to take that chainsaw off of him and give it back to him, blade first. Like, I'm leaving a trail of blood wherever I go. How is he not, like, seen that? Gonna stab him, he killed me last time. Just gonna stay in here now <laughs> for the rest of the stream. So we're leaving the trail of blood. Oh, we ah, we have magical evaporation blood, I see. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This is a bad place to be. I'm going to go this way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, huh? whose footprints are these? What was that noise? Shit. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Leave me alone! Man, that was brutal. He like probably went to town on me there. Snake, are you okay? Snake, snake! Wow! Wow, indeed. Yeah, I'm guessing I gotta go where he was standing. So this is going around the other way. Oh, okay, well that's just bullshit. Yes. Go that way. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Shit. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Man, that's even more brutal than Resident Evil 4. Okay. Let's try it one more time. It's my fault you move so slow. Stay there in your little room, raging out, when you could easily follow my blood trail. <laughs> Just in case, I can hear him. He's quite close. He sounds like he's quite close. Okay. Right, I think we're kind of safe. Oh, he's coming. Can I get him one of them and make myself wheel, wheel myself faster? I'm in danger. Oh yeah, big danger. Quick, into the magical preparation list. How has he not caught us when he was so quick to catch us when we were running? <laughs> and then now we're limping. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Have some of that. Oh, no cigarettes for you, buddy. Find myself with Oh. Intro sequence. Oh, it's Bethesda. Oh, cool. I didn't know it was Bethesda. Does that mean it's unfinished and really glitchy? Just turns itself 
they published it. It's not actually like one of their games. Ah, uh, Shinji Mikami, there we go. Resident Evil. Ding! It's for you. Oh, my leg seems to be working fine again now. Oh dear. Do you want to maybe pick up the pace a little bit, dude? Here we go. Uh oh. Some shit's gone down while we've been in the basement. What has happened here? Hey, it's that cop. She's been chilling in an ambulance this whole time. Oh dear. Those giant kaijus. Oh, there's that Assassin's Creed guy again. Oh, she's fine. Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but... Uh... Please, settle uh, down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Shit! There's no going back. Good thing there wasn't, like, a traffic jam or anything. You know? Pavement is for walking. Well, there goes that theory of it all being set inside a mental hospital. Building's moving. This is like so, that Monty Python sketch with the building Shit. that just sails away. <laughs> yeah, man, this cop's like saved everybody's life, and I bet he's like the first one to die. Uh, for a few years ago now, I don't just remember. Damn it! Are we cut off from everyone? Everyone must be dead. Everyone, all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. Fine, fine, fine. We will be once we're far away. 2014. Wow. A little further, and we'll be fine. Wow, I thought it was a bit later than that. Duh. Fine, 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 fine. It's the Assassin's Creed guy again. I told you he was going to be the first one to die. It's like that bit in Resident Evil 6 where the bus goes over the cliff and then they're like, hold on to something, so they hold on to each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, save game. Awesome. Next chapter.
Yeah, and everyone else in the bus dies, except Leon and Helena. Lantern light makes it easier for enemies to notice you. Ooh, okay. Chapter 2, Remnants. Interesting beginning to the game. I'm hoping we get to do some killing in this chapter. Oh, this is some Silent Hill shit going on right here. This is definitely Silent Hill. Is this the sequel to Silent Hill? Hmm, what is that? Ah, oh, Melka's Solid tor Torture Interrogation Sequence. <laughs> Abandoned in some dingy hospital. Ah, the whole game is just a series of hospitals. That's what's really happening. Oh, hey you. How you been? Good to see you, buddy. Have they have the hammer like a Silent Hill? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so too. Oh, don't even. I didn't know. I didn't know that was going to happen. Bodies found. Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River. Several residents are unaccounted for. Ooh, grabbing pills or whatever that is. Brains. I grab some brains in a jar. Oh, I can punch now. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hello? Anybody there? Ooh, bugs. Get some eternal darkness vibes from this. Yeah. Hello, nurse. Are we awake? What's it look like? Is everyone else alright? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. Oh, that's trippy. She just, she just vanished. Straight up vanished to thin Okay, what is this? Signs all over the walls. And Hello? a mirror, like... Anybody there? The one in... Uh, ring. The ring? Is it the ring? Yeah, the ring. The videotape. Oops. Actually, punching is faster than limping, so what I'm just gonna punch away on the corner. Here? Hey! A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. As much as my fist! Please, yeah. sign in here. Without signing in. Oh, okay. Signing into the hospital is saving your game, okay. There is no way to ensure your future memories. This way, please. Okay. Yeah, punching's faster than limping, so we're just gonna punch our way out. Here. <laughs> no, wrong way. This way. Come on. Smells like medicine. Oh, in a hospital. Really? Oh my god, I think you cracked a case, detective. Oh man, this guy. You are all right. Please relax. This is a weird room. Ah, where'd you go? Please, have a seat. Okay, I'm gonna put nails in my brain. What the hell? Oh, okay. You mustn't fight it. 
This is for your Green own gel can be used to upgrade individual Stop. skill parameters. Hundred points needed to unlock. Okay, we'll just stab ourselves in the brain with there some green now. gel. You see, all better. Lady, am I going crazy? Now what makes you say that? Um, you're on fire. I'll be waiting. Gotta get burned. Interesting. I used the brain juice, but it didn't let me upgrade, like, choose a skill to upgrade or anything, so I guess... Shit. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Kidman, where are you? Connolly! Brain juice! Yeah. We love us some brain juice. More brain juice. Ah, I can't see. It's too dark. Guess we'll just follow the light. Syringe. The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides a Moderate health restoration. Presser. Part three to access the inventory. Okay. Ah, cool. Is that like a a quick function for that? Ah, let's follow the blood stains. Spoopy forest. <laughs> follow the light, follow the blood stains. All the tropes of a horror movie. Right here, whoop. Triangle. Attack enemies or objects barehanded with a melee weapon. Or I can press R2 because, you know, that's the same thing. Yeah, I'll punch your crates. I will punch your crates to death. Hmm. Spoopy forest. Spoopy thunderstorm. It's gonna be a mansion out in the forest. Hockey ice, Mr. D-pad. Ah, oh, cool. I'll try that out next time I guess. It won't let me open the menu because I have nothing left. But that'll come really handy because you know having health on standby would be really useful. Aha! A lantern. Um, I forget your name, Mr. Detective, but that guy does not look well. He had things coming out. No, no, that's not backseating, that's just like, helping handing, really. Something is not right with this guy. I mean, he's eating a, he's eating something for the start. Like a corpse. Aha! A gun! Gun away. That is a Resident Evil reference and a half right there. You can tell that you can tell Shinji Mikami is behind this. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god, Connolly. <laughs> that was really, really fucking cool. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I like that a lot. I did like that. <laughs> That's a proper Resident Evil reference. Oh, 
Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with her. Chris is our old partner, you know. Can I not get the lantern again, or is that... Was that just to, like, advance the story? Well, you missed a trick there. It should have just been what a reference. Ah, oh, L3 else, else to use land. Okay. Anything in there? Anything? Ooh, okay. We've got two ways to go. No, you can keep the clip. You might just need to rename it. Oh, you're the crazy lady. Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Or is it a man with the name of Leslie? Were you warning me about this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! What the fuck? Indeed. Whoa, that's, that's some serious... Serious traps right there. Disarm the trap. Items acquired. Trap parts. Trap parts are needed to craft bolts for the Agony Crossbow. They're using the inventory screen. Nice. Is it my gun to up? No, it's my gun to right. It's close to my thumb. Agony crossbow. Sounds wicked. L1 to sprint. Consume stamina. Oh, I see. I got a orange buff. Does punching? No, it doesn't. Good. Oh, birds! I hear birds. Using matches. Approach a fallen enemy and press circle to burn them, destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemy is close by, they can all be burned with one match. Other things beside corpses and enemies can also be burned. Hmm. Getting some Resident Evil re like remake vibes from this. <laughs> it's like you wanted to make like a love letter to Resident Evil 1. That's pretty cool, though. Yo, Guardian! How we doing, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How's it hanging, man? Hope you're doing well, man. Welcome to the stream. Whoa! Yes, that is better. Playing some DMC 2013. Oh man, is that the um, is that the one that was like the the, the reboot of the series, as it were? Because if it is that one, I loved that one. I really, really like that one. But yeah, glad to hear you're doing well, man. It's always good to hear. Uh, we are playing... Um, some Evil Within, but this is the first time I've ever played it. Like, never played this before, so it's completely blind going in. I have, like, no idea what I'm doing, no idea how it's going. Yo, Kyle! How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, it is good to see you. Hope you've had a good day. And you, Guardian. Hope, you, hope you're doing well. Oh, the reboot. Yes, I love the reboot of DMC, man. I actually really love that one. I don't, I've still got it on PS4. Like, the remastered edition or whatever it was. Was it remastered edition? Oh, I got that on PS4. Just got done with overtime work. Oh, man. That's good. Overtime's always good. Bit of extra cash in the pocket. Are you, uh, you on your way home now? Oh, spooky nose. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Um, it probably wouldn't be like a proper game that I play through. It might be like a sh uh, like a chill stream or something. Oh, you work from home, so you're already there. Nice one, buddy. Probably like crack open a beer or something. Journal of Sebastian 
Castellanos, November 2004. Finally got my gold badge. Detective Sebastian Castellanos. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming, but they say that I'm one of the fastest to ever rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. Ah, this will be like... Shit. How we get to the save rooms, I guess. Like dive through a mirror. Uh, what the? Figure out what you're gonna do for I dinner, huh? <laughs> I must be losing it. Anything you fancy? Is that how we get out? I don't know if that was a bad dream or this is. Well, this is in color. It wasn't in color Whatever before. Is the matter. I think it was in black and white. Nothing. I just want to save my game, please. Oh, go for pizza, man. Pizza's always good. <laughs> I could kill a pizza right now. <clears throat> or a bucket of fried chicken. Oh, yeah. Don't even love KFC. So this is like the save place. This is cool. Okay, well, I've got 1800 brain fluid, or whatever it's called. So let's go stab some needles in my head. Ah, abilities, stock, or weapons. Okay, let's see what we got. Abilities. Life gauge. Uh... 100, maximum sprint 3 seconds, melee damage 100%, syringe recovery 30, okay. What is stock? Increase the amount of handgun ammo you can have, increase the grenades, syringes, and matches you can carry, okay. And weapons is damage multiplier for the pistol, fire rate. Oh, this is just for the pistol because that's what I've got, okay. Uh, okay, get some abilities. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to be doing a lot of punching, so... Oh, we can't, we haven't got enough. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, you know what will be useful? That. Oh, we don't have enough of that, either. <laughs> okay, never mind, let's just carry on saving up our, our gels. No more, no more stabbing in the head for you. Let's watch how much grease you'll eat, you end up sick. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem with fried chicken, isn't it? Lots and lots of greasy food. Oh, that's not the sprint button. I've been playing too much Dark Souls too. I'm, I'm pressing all the buttons from Dark Souls. Yeah, I'll probably get around to increasing my inventory spaces and stuff, but for now, I'll save what stuff I've got. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get some more. Get some more before we come back again. You keep getting this game confused with the GameCube game with a similar name. Uh, Resident Evil 4? <laughs> That's the sneak button. Sneak kills, there we go. R1 and X instantly kill enemies who are unaware of you from behind. That's what I wanted to do to that big guy at the start before he absolutely destroyed me. Yeah, he just randomly turned around for some reason. Yeah. Learn it. Eternal Darkness? Noise. Fun fact, Eternal Darkness is lined up. That's the game we're going to be playing after we finish Evil with him. Escaped out the window. Yo! I'm assuming that's Leslie. Come back, Leslie! Contextual actions. Press X to climb over obstacles and through windows. Okay, cool. Leslie, come back. 
So like, I'm assuming that should have been a stealth kill right there, but he randomly just turned around for some reason. A little bit of lag there. Stutter. I'm hoping I get like a melee weapon at some point, like a like a machete or a knife or something. Make things easier. So I think I only got two matches off that guy and I've already used them both, so. Oh that's not creepy at all. with a weird zombie man. What is happening? Hey, are you guys from around here? I don't know where. Las Plagas. He's got him. Oh, the eye of Sauron's found him. He must have put the ring on. Whoa! That is some messed up shit. Oh, there's another one. They got, oh, whoa, no, that is not okay. Good lord, what is happening in there? Um, a lot of bad stuff has just happened. Okay, well, I've only got two bullets left and no health, so... Do I need to get past them or do I need to get in their house? Oh shit! Take my bottle! I'm dead. <laughs> he saw me, so apparently they can basically see you wherever you are unless you're behind something. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I was planning to throw bottles as like a distraction to, to get by them, because that's what I used in the chainsaw guy at the start, but... Um, he saw me, so I don't think he was going to be too interested in a bottle. Oh, okay, there's checkpoints. I thought it would take me back to like last save. Um, alright, okay, fine. Fine. You throw a bottle and it smashes over there and he goes, Oh, it came, the smash sound from was over there. So I'm assuming it came from over here. So I'm just going to turn around and immediately come after the fucker. I'm assuming that's not meant to happen. Yes, okay, we get it. Barbed wire men exist now. Oh god damn it man, come on. Just go somewhere where I can stab you in the back. For a game that relies on stealth, these guys have like way too much alertness. To like, let you kill them or not. Pay attention to which enemies make which noises. Good to know. Okay, 
Okay, some weird shit is going down, like... But is this all in this guy's head or not? Questions that we must have answered. So what if I throw a bottle here? Was that within range of his hearing? No, it wasn't. Yes! Take down! Yeah. Oh, he. Oh, he's got bullets! Yes! What's the reload button? Square? Yes, square. It's always square! The reload button is always square. <laughs> nice one, brother! Hey, buddy! What you doing over there? <laughs> Just chilling by the fire? That sounds nice. Um, yeah, I don't really, um, none, none spring to mind right now. Like, if I, if I enjoy this enough, I'll get the second one, and I'll blind stream that as well, because I've never played the second one. Um, I would love, absolutely love, to blind stream, um, Resident Evil 8. Thing for me? Ooh, syringe. Okay. Uh, what was the inventory button? It was that one. Highlight it and then push a button. There we go. Down. Well, down is health. Oh. Well, his house had a massive hole in the back door. Ooh, five matches. Don't trust you. Probably gonna take care of those guys outside, because I don't want them Do they Do they get back up? A game you thought I mentioned last time. Um I don't know. What game was that? Either I'm being blind, or he's gone for a jolly. Or do you not want to burn these guys, maybe? Like regular enemies? You need to burn regular enemies? I'm not sure. in the cupboard. Ah, oh, syringe, yes. What a syringe. I think I could have got around these guys without killing them, maybe. Well, m well, we kill them, but I could have got around them without using any resources. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, buddy. Man, you got to be really close to those to disarm them. Whew. Right, there was a file here. Yes, there was. Lakeside Town Note. When did they put a lighthouse out on the lake? Has it always been there? That circling light passes over me, passes through me. I feel like it takes something away each time. I can't remember what it was, though. Interesting. I'm guessing we're going to have to go to the lighthouse. Nothing spookier than a lighthouse. Yeah, I did. I disarmed the trap and it gave me, like, plus one scrap or something. Uh, I'm how... wounded, sir, oh, so I'm taking the afternoon Thanks off. Thanks, Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for the luck. Appreciate the luck, man. When Liz was trying to remember the one you said in people streaming, Zarya. Already... Yeah, Zarya, yeah, I'd love to, but there's no other games that I have, like, immediately that I want to blind play that I can think of off the top of my head. I know that we're going to be playing this, and then the next game... I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Uh, we're going to play as Eternal Darkness, which is a GameCube game that I absolutely freaking love. 
um, and it's got it's got this cool me mechanic in it where the longer you are around enemies, like the more you start to question your sanity, and, like lose your sanity, and uh, yeah, you just, like weird things start happening. It's really really cool. So we're gonna play that next. Yeah, uh, Gavinsky, I, I disarmed the trap and it said I got plus one scrap or something. I don't know how I see my scrap. Is there a way to see scrap? I don't know. So that guy I killed, his body's not here anymore. I'm a little bit worrying because I forgot that I had matches. But I don't know if I should be like using matches on everybody I come across or not I'm not sure oh this guy there just send him Didn't give me anything. Those thunder flashes are really playing with my eyes. Burn the hay. Interesting. I wonder what effect that would achieve. What? Other than burning the hay. I wonder what effect that would achieve. Yep, it would set a lot of stuff on fire, you're right, but I don't know if like it was a distraction or something. Ah, that's cool, you can hide under the beds as well as lighting cupboards and stuff. Trapped there. Much. Wait, why do I have a flaming torch now all of a sudden? Oh, it wasn't a match, it was a flaming torch, okay. Can I use that to burn the body instead of a match? Nope, you can only use matches. Well, that's just stupid. Disarming bear traps. Sneak and disarm. I'll just walk into one. Run away! Where did I drop the torch? Where did I drop the torch? I want to hit him with it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Ooh, it's six bullets. That is cool. I like that one. Get some health up in here. Sure, I just can't really see the ammo and health thing because of my webcam, but it's not really that much of an issue. Sure. 
I was about to like shit myself and walk to a trap then, but I've disarmed it already. Yeah, you can just about see my health bar. Oh, shit. Mother trucker. You are gonna die. Well, that could have gone better. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, she ain't pretty no more. Try getting off from that one. Okay. <laughs> that was quality. Come on, buddy, it's on the trap. There we go. Let's have a little sneak around over here. I mean, don't tell me, obviously, but like, I wonder if there are bosses and stuff in this game. Like, if it's gonna get, like, real difficult. Whoa, hello. So, I'm just wondering here, just having a little thought. If they drop their um, item, does that mean they're like permanently dead? Like, you don't have to burn them with a match. Just burning them with a match is really useful for getting rid of them early if you knock them down or something. Get real, real resi vibes here. And also corpses. Like that. Where are you going, pal? Nine bullets. And whatever this is. Eleven bullets. Nice. Guess they would have got up if I'd done this without. <laughs> He's running it off. Don't worry, you're just on fire a little bit. Oh, okay. That's very aggressive. As you delete the level we've just been through, I saw that. <laughs> it disappeared through the slats. I heard something. I mean, it might have just been me, but... health syringe, which we'll immediately use because I don't have much health. And the map. Map, frag map fragment 3. Okay. Don't know if that's important or not. The fact that it says 3 makes me think that there's probably been two others that I've missed. Good God. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing. 
Oh. Oh, hell no. What's the sprint button? I've forgotten. L1. There we go. I'm pressing the lantern button. <laughs> No, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. I don't like the look of it. Like, this guy's like a policeman. I mean, he looks relatively like you know fit and in his prime. I can run for longer than he can. I haven't sat in my house for six months. God damn it! Oh, this is Resident Evil 4 all over. Get in the castle. Oh wow, flying kick to the chest. A boat! We were a bit on fire there. Ooh, okay. Hey, chapter two clear! Nice. Save game. Yes. Nice one, brother. I thank you all. I thank you all. No, not save game. Next chapter, please. Okay, this is interesting so far. I've got to learn to be more stealthy. More reserved with my resources. Also, I like hitting people with torches because it says I'm on fire. <laughs> Chapter 3 Claws of the Hop. Um, I would rather not know. Uh, you, if you want to know, um, yeah, just whisper it across. But I'd rather not know, so I don't uh, finish the game. Like, I don't know how far through I am. Cl oh, close the horde. Mm -hmm. Didn't read that properly. Any resources for me? Oh, health kit. I love a health kit. What have we got? We've got a revolver. And that's it. Oh, and some more brain juice. 3,000 brain juice we got now. Okay, what's up next? Anything good to get in here? In here? That doesn't sound good. KFC chicken pizza. That's going to be amazing. You know? That is a whole load of corpses. Pretty sure they were blocking our way, but I'm out of matches now, so we have to be very careful with what we do. Okay, we're trapped Shit. in here. It's giving me some Resident Evil vibes. It's like trapped in a village. A weird village where all the houses are made out of wood. <laughs> Full of medkits. Hey. Well, I'll heal and then I'll take another one. Oh, more brain juice. Brain juice! I got a feeling that that guy may come alive or not. I don't know. I don't really want to risk him coming alive.
I said Resident Evil is my favourite. Four is my favourite. I'm sure you're sure I'm do this. Probably. <laughs> this is a lot more stealth orientated though than Resident Evil 4's big old action event that it was. I'm going to barn. I want to go in that house because the lights are on. It looks like there might be stuff in there. Not cool. Okay, you just gonna do that every time. I will, however, take a hatchet. Yes, please. All right, now we're making some progress. Is this like Silent Hill? Do we get to keep the hatchet, or is the hatchet just like a single-use get-out-of-jail-free card? There's no Spanish villagers to slaughter. No, you're right. As soon as I started beeping, I knew. Well, time to use a health kit. Man, I need to upgrade, like, how much health those health kits give you. A grenade! The stick grenade is a relic from nearly 100 years ago. How it ended in private hands is unknown. Sweet! We got a grenade. Okay, uh, inventory. Here we go. Okay, I'm guessing the melee weapons are just like one hit wonders. So we'll equip grenades to the left on the D pad. Oop, wrong button. Wow. Leon doesn't kill just any innocents, it's just all Spanish villagers in Resident Evil 4. Yeah, this kind of feels like, um, what if the village from Resi 4 kind of got like an upgrade? Like it was a lot bigger. It's cool, I like it. I'll have some of Matches, yeah. I need those. All right, two matches. Okay, who was talking? Who was talking? Hey. Eh? Was there a door? Oh, there's a window. I thought it was a door there. I can have a room. Who's there? No, don't shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before it crashed, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. Doc's a sus for making it this far on his own. Just calling it now, Doctor is sus. That sounds like a save room. You can hear like the little, faintly I could hear the music that plays in the save room. Or at least one of the rooms that like has a mirror in it. Takes you to the save room. Okay, what's going on over here? More stairs. Oh. 
Yeah, I remembered. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is some Abe's Odyssey shit going on right here. Stop the needle. Blue success, red failure. Stopping the needle in the blue zone within one rotation will disarm the trap. Disarm the trap will your tap bars. Okay, slight delay on that one then. Gotta remember that for next time. You penis. Thank you for that. I mean, I deserved it for blowing up the trap, but... Let's try again. Yeah! That's going to be tricky. Okay, these doors are like weirdly marked. Cool. Ah, Chipotle. Nice. Never had it, but it sounds really nice. She's gone. Journal of Sebastian Calanus, December 2004. First day as a detective, my new partner, Myra Hansen, is a real firecracker. Tenacious and no nonsense. My kind of woman, but I've got to watch it around her. She almost caught me checking out her ass today. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian, you dick. Map fragment four. Yeah, I'm guessing I've missed a bunch of maps then. My head. Yeah, I never had it, man, but it sounds delicious, so hopefully you enjoy. Have you forgotten something? Nope. I would like to save my game, please. Oh, no, it just saved a new save. Okay, fine, whatever. Creepy nurses. This is like if Silent Hill and Resident Evil had a baby. This game. Which is not a bad thing. Not at all. Okay, let's go for some... Up our matches capacity. Okay, now we can carry 10 matches, that's, that's good. Handgun ammunition is going to come in handy. Now we can carry 15 bullets of handgun ammunition. Oh, weapons. Get damage? No, I don't have enough for damage. Multiplier. Fire rate, reload time, clip capacity, accuracy, critical hit. Abilities. Syringe so recovery is 5,000. Melee damage, yeah. Because. We were doing a lot of punching and nothing was working, so we'll have some of that. There we go. Run with your limited pool of stamina. Run, you fool. That's so bright with the lights off. <laughs> Ah, bugs. Ah, bugs. The hit bugs. Right, where's um the doctor? He went this way. Did he not? No. Yes. No. He's out here. Hey, doc. Have a look for yourself. Those things. Chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. Hmm. 
Sounds really good, man. You're making me really hungry, Carl. That gate. Good lord. There are too many to shoot our way through. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. If you say so. What does this do? Random contraption here. Ah, damnable thing. There is a crank on the terrace. You'll need to operate it if I'm to pass through. Wait, where's the doctor? Oh. I see. Hey, where's my axe? Had an axe. Over here. Here. Hey, over here. That's right this way. You pain us. That Yo, old guy's gonna get himself killed. Pepper, how you doing, my man? Good to see you, buddy. Always is a pleasure, man. Doing good. That's what I like to hear, buddy. That is what I like to hear. You've been up too much. Hang on to melee items. Yeah, well, I had a hatchet. Shit. Oh shit, the two of them. What? Yeah, test my upgraded fists. Oh, I'm going down fighting. I'm down. So, you've been up too much, Peps? How's it, how's it been, man? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I had a hatchet, but the cutscene deleted the hatchet, so I don't have a hatchet anymore. <laughs> Not good. Sebastian Castellanos. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Wrong button. Oh, you finished RE7 the other day. Nice one, dude. What did you think of it? You got this in your to play list as well. Yeah, same as, man. I was just, like, playing through it, and then, uh... We got around to this one after I finished Resi 7, so... automatically know where I am, even though I'm sneaking. That dude had an axe. I can't have his axe. Has got a great story. Yeah, has got a really, really good story. Um, yeah, some of the levels I think later on in the game, after you escape the house, I think some of the levels will get a bit funny, like the boat level and that, and the mines were a bit sketchy for me. I don't really think that they worked too well, but other than that, it was still a great game. Still a really good game, I thought. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Because I, I really like that game.
Yeah, it did a bit, like trying to find all the different pieces and things you need to complete the puzzle of the uh, the lift shaft and that. Can I get his machete or anything? The final stretch afterwards. Yeah, it was a little bit of a, a little bit of an anticlimax, really, wasn't it? Yeah, all of the house. I thought was like the best part of the game. Where is this guy that is just constantly screaming? Sounds like he's in here. Okay. Six matches. Red kit, nice. Ah, bullets. Yes. Yeah, we've got to be really sneaky. Oh, because I used up all of the things that's unequipped them. I don't like that. Uh, mixed feelings about some of the layout, but the puzzles were fun and the atmosphere was top notch and Jack was really cool. Lucas's saw trap. Yeah, Lucas's saw trap with the happy birthday trap thing was really, really cool, man. That was really cool. Um, it's like Dark Souls. Yep, Dark Souls shortcut. Um, how is this so far? Oh, this is, um, this is quite, I'm quite enjoying this actually. It's very tense, a lot more tense than like, Like, Resident Evil had me tense, but this has got me more tense because it's kind of a lot more, like, stealthy, stealthy than actually, which is fun, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. We're doing quite well, I think. I think. I don't know. We die quite a lot, <laughs> but no, I'm enjoying it, man. It's really fun. There he is. He's all chained up. Ooh. Spare parts. More matches. We've got full matches. I'll start burning some shit. But yeah, I'm enjoying this, man. You should definitely give this a try if it's, definitely, if it's on your watch list.
Go back up. Shit, wrong button. I was just wondering if there's a way to make him go faster. Nope. Yeah, Shinji, I think, is a bit less action oriented as the other designs made Ari more of an action game. It's a bit stealthy and stuff. What? These? Huh. No, that's fine. It's fine. Just stuff like that. Like, I never, I probably never would have found that. A key. Oh, I've missed like a ton of these statues already. Yeah, man. Try it. Try it. I mean, I've never played this before and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, even if the rumours tend to be true. It is kind of shootery. I've been trying to do it stealthily, to be fair. Pigs! Are the pigs affected? I don't like those. I do not like those. I don't like the fact that they've got this dude like chained up back here. Oh crap. Ooh, opening chests. Hold X. If the chest is trapped, opening only part way, part way will disarm the trap. Ha! Disarm the bomb. New item acquired: explosive bolts. An explosive warhead for the agony crossbow, which will detonate when enemies approach. It can be placed on things like floors, walls, and even even other enemies. Nice. Ooh, those look like shotgun shells to me. But nice one, brother. I don't even have um, a shotgun or a crossbow, so. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Cousin of the Torment Longbow, yeah, pretty much. The headshots are super satisfying in this, I'm not gonna lie. Pops their head clean off. <laughs> yeah, boy. Get some health up in here. Your Steam Backlog. What's on your Steam Backlog then, Peps? What you got? What you got to play? What was that? Huh.
shit. Oh, what's going on with the controller, man? The controller's screwing up slightly then. Oh, attaché case. Oh, yes. Oh, that is what we like. Pump action shotgun has a short barrel and wide choke, sending pellets over a shorter but wider area. Yes. You mean Silent Hill? He's watching. He can't. We can't leave. The skateboard in the Resident Evil campaign that just destroys zombies. And then we can hopefully get two for one here. I don't like the fact that it unequips uh, an item if you run out of it. So, like when you run out of health syringes, it unequips it from the Hot Wheel. Ah, crossbow! Sweet. This collapsible crossbow has strong bow string, which appears capable of launching heavy projectiles. Okay. R1 to create a bolt while agony is selected. The trap parts can be used to make more of any bolt you can possess. Okay, how do I find out what I've got equipped? Are these just explosive bolts or something? I don't know. Harpoons. Impales opponents. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, wrong button. Damn, this guy's got a shotgun. Or rifle or some sort some description. Good thing we didn't get seen by him. Oh, there's the gate. Yes! Yes! Oh man, this crossbow is tits. I love it. fluid and there was an hatchet 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 yes hatchet what is this oh that's where they busted the door in 
Okay, I think we're doing pretty well, guys. I think we're not doing too badly. Got ourselves a shotgun, a crossbow, and an axe. Wrong I keep pressing that as crouch. I don't know why I keep pressing that as crouch. What game have I been playing recently where that's been crouch? Ghost of Tsushima. That's what it is. Ghost of Tsushima has R3 as crouch. It'd be nice if I could see what these traps actually do. Okay, whoever's on the other side, it makes the spikes come up through the floor. Ooh, that's gruesome. Oh, come on. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. Controller's just having a funny five. scary dude. Uh, there was a guy in the barn who was all chained up. Oh hey pal. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh yeah. Take a med kit. Yes please. Yes please. Yes please. Is this bullets? Oh, more bullets. Yeah, buddy. Doing well. He's in the barn still. He's chained up. I mean, I don't know if I can. Really. I don't know how to get to him. Okay. I mean, I'm right here, dude. No? You gonna go that way? Look at him strut. Look at him strut. <laughs> He's like... Take him on with a knife. Knife only run. <laughs> um, I mean, if you can, then definitely. Definitely I will. That'll be fine, but... Cause I've got a shotgun now. But I don't know how to take him on. Yeah, it definitely is, man. This is kind of like a love letter to to Resident Evil. I think I said it before you came into the into the chat, Peps. Um, it's like a this to me. This feels like a love letter to Silent Hill and Resident Evil.
Hey, you're the guy from earlier. Oh, what the? Where did you guys come from? Yeah, I was about to say that, man. It runs with Garador in Resident Evil. Oh shit. This is not good. I'm I was using a health kit. That's not fair. Is it gonna restart me to the beginning of that whole area? It better not. Uh. Yeah, the Garador guy in Resident Evil 4 who's like all chained up to the wall. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Reminds me of him. But then he picked up a chainsaw, so then it was just like Dr. Salvador. <laughs> I mean... Where has it started me? Has it reset all my progress? It's reset all my progress. I'm gonna be pissed. Ooh, a tower. Oh no, I've got. Ooh, someone blew up. Flash bolts. A warhead for the agony crossbow which can blind opponents with the power of flash. Blind opponents can be killed from any direction with a sneak attack. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is Resident Evil 4. Big tower in the middle of the village. I think it's like basically reset all the enemies, hasn't it? Because that I killed that guy for sure. <laughs> That's true, man. So all we need now is just some poor Spanish people to rough up the wrong way. Oh, we got out of this little pit. Brain fluid. Delicious brain fluid. They <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. Yeah, I know like all of the all of the things they say. Like off my heart. Is 
besides the cold ones. Some of them are quite hard to hear though, aren't they? Cabron. <laughs> Cabron's the one that you understood, is it? So you burn bodies, do they not come back if you die? I wonder. Let's test it out. Nope, that's half of the... something. Go! I mean, she's gone. The woman was wandering around here, and all these guys are gone. Huh. Maybe it's like it just picks and chooses what it wants to. What it wants to do. Okay, well. Let's try checking this guy on again. Sure. I still have my shotgun. Yep. Still got eight shells for the shotgun. over here. And we're gonna bash this thing down. Where's his chainsaw? Why can't I have it? I'm gonna pick up his chainsaw and then I can get him easy. Quick, burn him while he's down, burn him while he's down! Oh. Oh, where did you guys come from? Oh, that guy's got like a flintlock pistol! Oh god, he's a pirate! But it not 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 do it not 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, we got him! Oh. Okay. Ooh, okay. The Assassin's Creed guy just. I better hold on to this. Um. Like yes. Ideas. Yes, we will hold on to this. Nice one, brother! And 5,000 brain juice. Okay, we've got no shotgun shells, we've got no pistol rounds. Oh, two pistol rounds. Two pistol rounds from that person. There we go, we've got full full clip for the pistol now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the GG's and stuff. That was that was insane. That was intense. Ah, stuff in my eyes. Ah. Oh, I mean, I can't equip the chain chainsaw. It's a key item. I'm the danger. I am the one who knocks. Yeah, I have some Breaking Bad, man. It's a really cool show. I like that. Yeah, man, go get it for yourself. Think up a cool sound effect, man. Add it to your own, add it to your own repertoire. 
for sure. <laughs> you averted your eyes for two minutes. I killed the chainsaw man, man. Dude, he's gone. Chainsaw dude met his match. Oh, there's all the mechanisms up here. Oh, we have to kill him to get the chainsaw. What? Why is it with people and cutting metal with chainsaws? Hey, that's fine, Guardian. Just uh, take your time, man. Sit back and enjoy. If you're busy doing other stuff, you're busy doing other stuff, man. It's no, it's no biggie. Just happy to have you here, man. That's that's the main thing. Yeah, Wait. Perhaps Perhaps let me know when, when you've done yours. Wait, uh, <laughs> officer. When you've added that. You must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. Ah, that's cool. So we had to fight him. Then it wasn't like an option. Oh, there was a treasure chest. God damn it. There was a chest in the barn where he was. God damn it. Oh, well, whatever was in there. We will have to, uh... What was in the chest then? What did I miss? What did I miss from the chest? Chapter 4, The Patient. Nice. Making some progress. Uh, Castellanos, yeah, um, our character, the main guy. I just, I could, like, literally, as he was walking through the gate and it slammed shut behind, it was like, my brain just went, There was a treasure chest in the barn with the, <laughs> with the chainsaw guy. <laughs> Go on then, put me out of my misery. What was in it? If you know what was in it, what was it? Put me out of my misery. Oh, the hospice. Huh, yes. that's cool. Leslie <laughs> was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You ah, know creepy are. hospital again. Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. Off brand RE4, basically. Oh, I know I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. Okay, so your brother runs a hospice. brother's not a jerk too. And there's a dead inside-out goat just impaled. Out from. I mean, this has got, um, 3D, 3D camera and stuff. Um, yeah, he's got like 3D camera and stuff, which Resi 4 never had, but. Like. Controls are still a little bit dodgy. Oh, no, he can see me. Oh, you're a big lad. Come here. The trucker. One shot, gotta make a count. As a matter of fact, this guy should not be able to see me. Well, I made a count. And he made his count too. Nice. Alright, let's try that one again. The patient. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. The big guy got us. I'm really annoyed that I, <laughs> I forgot about that chest. Just went straight past it. Well, 
Cool mechanic, though. I do like that. I do quite like that. That the um. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Uh, was the chests are like trapped. Ago. So it's on the chest, so you can like open them. Familiar and safe. You know where we are. Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind, and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. <laughs> Oh, brother, not a jerk, too. I'm not leaving you behind. Ah, yeah, that's how we play. Sneaky, sneaky. Where are you going, pal? I let go of the button. I did. Honest to God. Uh, oh, we have no healing items. That's cool. Map fragment five. Ah, bullet's good. You penis. Thank you. I did let go of the button. Oh, it's just gonna be like an escort quest now. I've got to escort this guy around wherever I go. Or wherever we're going for the next few bits. Thunderstorm never seems to arrive. <laughs> yes, health. Ghost by Tokyo. I don't know if I've actually heard of that. Or said anything to do with it. Is it. What's it like? This is where you wanted to go. We must be going. What could have happened here? Peel away, no tearing, expose everything. Chess game where you fight Japanese demons and creatures instead of guns you use magic. Ooh, sounds cool, man. And it's made by the same these guys. Reload the shotgun. Okay, so there's no normal people. I thought this might be like a normal person house and be like, what's going on here? And get a bit of like story exposition, but nope. Doctor is here. This is a spoopy messed up house, just like the rest of them. I think anyone's working on it. Ah, cool man, that sounds really cool. I've checked some of that out. Oh, if there's a trailer or anything, man, feel free to post it in Discord. We must find my patience, Leslie. You want to keep it down a bit, Doc, and not just run while I'm trying to sneak. Mm -mm. 
green juice. Sounds like some Dark Souls dialogue. Don't you fret. Doc, no, don't. <laughs> Valerio, it's me. The good doctor. Is... Valerio. This is my brother, Valerio. Let's say his original doctor. Peel away. Oof. Nice. Yes, expose everything. I hope that wasn't Leslie. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa! That's ah, brown irons. Oh no, Dark Souls Syndrome can't run while healing. Oh, snap. Ray runs, Mr. Chonks. Itchy, itchy, tasty. Ah. Home How is where the hospice is. Done that to Valerio. Impossible. Who's Ruvik? Yeah, I've not heard of Ghostwire Tokyo. That'd be really cool to check out. Wait, is that his brother or is the guy we just killed his brother? <laughs> what is this? Ah, keys hidden inside a person's body. This is some, uh, this is some sore shit. This is messed up shit right here. Come on in. Are you gonna make me do it? How do I? There we go. Was that in one of the Saw films? There's like a key in the guy's stomach or something. Red Evil Seven. Predictable jump scare. Oh, hey, we got a key. We got a key. Disgusting! <laughs> Rooting around in someone's insides. A little bit disgusting, isn't it? Ooh, what's this? Matches. Yes. That came from outside. Yeah. Yes. Something's up with this. Every everyone in this game is sus. The doc sus. That woman at the start in the starting cutscene, she was really sus. The other the other cop. been saying that quite a lot but this looks like a save room to me so I'm gonna take a hatchet and then I'm gonna go in the save room. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos? 
So February 2005. Mira was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking it was going to lose her life without telling her how I really feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. <laughs> Safe room. I knew it. You knew what, though, Sebastian? What did you knew? Yep, we're gonna spend some brain juice. We're gonna save our game thus far. Can I open these doors yet? I'm sure these doors have got to have a use for something. You should find this useful. What you want? Oh, you're coming out from behind your desk. Oh, okay. Get to go behind the desk. Yeah, that's what I said. Peps is like the creepy nose is inside the hill. She even dressed the same with like the red, the red top. And Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. Oh, holy crap! Detective Castellanos? Yes, that's me. Do you have a key like this? That key will allow you to open this door. Which door? Oh my god! The contents are yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. Um... <laughs> This one's going to give me some explosive bolts for my crossbow. Uh, let's go for a top one. Oh, some brain juice. 5,000 brain juice. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, what is over here? Anything to get? Anything to get? Anything to get? No, it's just a, like an administration desk. And a computer. <laughs> Do I have to come this way every time? Why can't I just go through that door? Uh, no, we'll save after we get our... Levels. Oh, whatever we're doing. Um, right, what should we level up? We've got 14,600 brain juice to spend. Ah, oh, agony bolts. We can level up stuff. Increases damage, affects enemies in 3 meter blast radius, duration of blindness, inflicts extra damage on enemies struck. Fire damage added at level 5. Woo! Haha, <laughs> no worries, Peps. Thanks for, thanks for stopping in, though, man. Appreciate it. It's good to see you, as always. Why did my brain get electrocuted if I was upgrading my gun? Ooh, criticals, yeah. Some criticals. Definitely got to upgrade that. Right, syringe recovery, yes. We want more health when we use a syringe. Um, melee damage, I get melee damage level 3. Level 5, stamina recovery speed is increased, nice. We can increase our stamina. We can increase our life gauge. We can increase our life gauge. 
1600 left. Can we use 1600 for anything? We can. No, fire out the pistol. Or not. There we go. Cool. Spent all of our brain juice. Save the game. Save the save save the save 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 the game. That's it. I had that accidental save that I made, so I could go back and get the treasure chest contents. <laughs> I wanted to. Oh. The doctor was just there the whole time. I was gonna say that, yeah, it's got that sort of like. Okay, now I'm seeing ghosts. That's cool. It's got that, that cool. Ooh, shotgun shells, nice. It's got that cool sort of uh, 1950s feel to it, like Bioshock 1 did. Police! This is a raid! Stick them up! I saw a woman come out of here on fire. <laughs> possibly a hallucination, possibly a ghost. Gonna just shimmy. Ah, bullets. Yes, please. What's this? Villagers note. They got Norman. He cries for help. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'll be next. Ooh. What is happening here? I'm actually really, really intrigued by this story. Just because, like, I, I have no idea what's going on. You know, like, the whole city, like, crashed and burned, and then we had people with us, and then stuff started happening to them, and then they've gone missing, and then... The doctor's here, but then there's this whole like mental institution that we can go visit to save our game and stuff, and it's a bit like we must be going. What's happening, you know? So, yeah, this is really interesting at the moment. Hey buddy. Scarecrow, nice. Don't go so fast. I'm just casually jogging. Have I been behind the house? No, I'm like kind of going in a circle. Like round. Oh, cool. What was that? Was that, just, was that actually a jar or did I just scoop up that ghostly woman's remains? I didn't see you doing anything to help, Doc. Oh, can I collect brain juice from like corpses now? Is that a thing? Hey, Piggy. Nice shooting.
Yeah, that, that like, just you can just hear that like classical music. Didn't even save her. I didn't even know that was an option. Oh well. Ooh, a slaughterhouse. Okay, I haven't been up there yet. I didn't realize saving her was an option. What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> oh yeah, you can only run for like two seconds, I forgot. Burn your hair to the ground. Method to burning hay? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, I didn't fully explore over there yet. So it wants us to go find the kid who's in that house there. I didn't know you could save the woman. She was probably one of them anyway. Attacked us or something. I'd love to forget about you, you're just so goddamn annoying that I can't. We must find my patient, Leslie. I know who he is, I was there in the ambulance. Ooh. Yeah, she was probably, you know, I could have rescued her and it turned out there was, she was actually one of them and they're all turning against each other and stuff. Like in Bioshock, you know? Do you know what happens if you do save her? Like, do you get, does she give you stuff? Don't go so fast. Oh my god, Doc, you are super useless. Cheers. Yeah, next time I play. He's gone down there. You sound like David Duchovny delivering his lines in 13. Okay, getting some proper resi vibes now. Ooh, last time there was a shotgun in here. Shotgun shells? Take it. Matches are full. We must be going. I didn't what? Goop in an achievement. Wait, there was someone in that armchair when I looked through the hole in the window. There was definitely someone in that armchair when I looked through the hole in the window. What is happening? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, it's a dark room. This is a safe room. <laughs> Resident Evil under the stairs. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. Hide.
something here. Settle down. Oh, you're what? Something scary. Be still. Oh, it's invisible. No. No. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, what the? What is this? Scary. Scary. How do I see where it is? No. Stay right here. Something scary. Be still. How much to shoot this? God damn. You Is it over? get the burn treatment. Are you still out there? Helop, and then... This place is a death trap. Is there anywhere safe at all? I think that's unlikely. How am I supposed to <laughs> see those invisible ones? That's an annoying. Can't get out. Can't get out. We must be going this way. Okay, but there's some group juice on Can't the side. Get away. Brain juice. Can't get away. Brain juice. Yeah. Wait, what to the stairs? We must be collectively losing our minds. 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 Oh no. Oh god. No. Assassin's Creed, man. Rovik. It is you. Ah! Listen. Who the hell are you? No. Huh? Don't follow. Be with you in a moment. I want to grab some stuff I didn't grab the first time around. And also, might as well equip that. What have we got? Blinding ones, regular what ones. Doctor? Leslie? Fuck. No, that sounded like Geralt. Oh no. It's the shining. The shining has just happened. Oh, now where am I? Some kind of weird sewer. What is going on here? Okay, there's a ladder out. And a bunch of stuff. Let's take the ladder. Uh, thoughts on the game so far? Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Like I said, the, the, the combat feels a little bit janky, but I think that's because it's meant to be more of a stealth game, but then the last minute they just put, like, more bullets and stuff in than, than would be necessary. Um. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. The story's got me intrigued, just because I really just want to know what's going on. Not do anything. Nice little dance he did there. Get some bullets. He got anything on him? Oh! Whoa. Whoa! That's a trap right there. Oh, my head can pass through it, okay. Um, what 
am I supposed to do? Disarm the trap, please? Or do I have to, oh, I have to find a mechanism, I suppose. Okay. That makes some lick of sense. Oh, Christ. Yes, bullets. If you could wade a little faster, that would be fantastic. Shit. that at the last possible second before I realized it was too late. Ooh, what are these? Shock bolts. A warhead for the crossbow which will immobilize enemies come into contact with a viral shock and place on things like floors and walls and even enemies. Ooh, cool. What was what? Yeah. Oh, I walked into a tripwire. Which, um... Yeah. That's not what the... What do I need explosive stuff for? Interesting. What was the other one that fell down? There it is. Another door. What do I need to do with that? Just kick the can, okay. Was that an arm? Oh, that was one of them. And another course. Find a Simpsons line. Wish Simpsons line. Uh, yeah, all the messages have like gone. Like, what one? And the blood comes out anyway. So <laughs> that's funny. The blood's supposed to get off on the second floor. What the hell? Am I supposed to kill them?
Oh, I got kicked in the back of the head. <laughs> Damn. Okay, alright. Uh, I need to strategize. Those canisters are really useful because they set things on fire. If I can lure a bunch of them into one of those canisters. Um, and I also have a grenade. Oh, I'll get all that stuff again. Don't tell me how many keys I've got. I don't care about you. That's what I want. Ah, that's what that oil is for as well. Like, burn up stupidly on my first play time through. I was just like, oh, I'll burn this oil because that's, you know, it's oil. Maybe it doesn't like activate a secret thing. Nope. Ah, dodged the trap this time. That's close. Guardian redeemed hydrate. Oh, thank you, Guardian. Thanks for the hydrate, then. Ah. Alright, I'll grab some more bullets. It's annoying that it starts you here before anything's happened, rather than right before the shit goes down. No, don't activate that, I want to do the time bomb. I could have sworn there were more bullets. Could have sworn. More bullets, but I guess not. Okay. Um. Alright, so we want to go through here. They're just going to get smaller and smaller of those, aren't they? Little windows of time. Oh, into the blood. Nice. Like, that guy stabbed me in the eye right at the start of the game. Why couldn't he just do that again, you know? Why's he got to lock me in this room with all of his weird buddies? Oh, damn it. I kick it from here. Oop, <laughs> wrong thing. Kick that. Kick that. No, not that way. Why can't I just pick this thing up and move it with my hands? I have thumbs. Thumbs are useful. Thumbs are that might do the trick. Um, and there's one there. I'll leave that one there. Okay. All right. Let's try this one more time. Don't know how many guys we got to kill, but we'll make it work. Here comes again.
Oh shit. This didn't happen last time. This did not happen last time. Oh, cock it. Run! <laughs> Wade faster. They can run in this water and I can't. I'm calling bullshit on that. Um... Cool. Yeah, so that's a thing. Oh, come on! That'll do it. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, you do have to kill them all. Cool. Thought maybe kind of like a puzzle section or something, but no, you just got to brute force them all the way out. That was my strategy. That's why I spent so long kicking the can <laughs> over here. Get them all on the bottom of the ladder. And some goop juice. And... Oh, I need those. Syringes. Um... Ah. There we go. We've got five bullets. That was relatively painless. Until they mixed to another one, but right now. <laughs> nope, you can't run down here. This looks suspiciously like the corridor that we've been wheeled down. Locked, okay. There's a corpse in the middle of the room. I want some bullets. I'll take bullets, yeah. Bullets are always good. Yo, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Much not one. Much not one. Much not one. Okay. Don't get hit by her, I guess. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> oh crap, this thing. Guardian knows what's going on. <laughs> Are you, am I meant to fight it or am I meant to run from it? Because there's a door there. I'm assuming it's got the key.
Hmm. That thing is scary and it's also a tank. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to fight it? Let's try luring it back to the corridor because it got that zombie and start beating him to death and then we can try going in where the zombie was. Let's try that without using up any ammunition or anything first. Let's try that tactic. Oh yeah, I forgot. This guy can't run for more than like two seconds. I mean, there's brain juice over there. Got it. <laughs> Shit, I'd better run. Oh, now he says what to do. Yeah, you are not supposed to fight it. Oh my god, really? You wanna stop and take a breather? Run down there, shut the door, and then burn the corpses in the room so it can't. It's obviously using corpses to transport itself around. Cool, 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 cool. Someone in the police force has got terrible stamina. He really needs to work on his cardiac vascular system. Yeah, he does. He's like, he runs for like two seconds and he's just like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta catch a breath. Oh, there's a trap there. What is it with you? Take like any chances of that. He uses bodies to like teleport around, so <laughs> not taking any chances with that. Uh, door closed, door closed, door closed. Please train him for this. Maybe not for this, but you know. We trained him to some level of fitness. Woo! Oh, you can run there. I made it. I can't believe it. Yeah, neither can I. Not with your fitness level. Ooh, shiny attaché case. Ah, more shotgun shells. I want new weapons. Even like a grenade launcher or something. That'd be cool. I mean, technically, oh, I do have explosive bolts for the crossbow, don't I? I suppose I'll let you off on that.
Hey, pal. Nope. Nope. No, oh, he he broke my head. <laughs> okay. This game's really unclear on whether you should run or fight. <laughs> He like literally just popped my head with his Emperor Palpatine powers. <laughs> I'm assuming if you haven't found the shotgun up to this point, like these cases will have the shotgun in it. Fire kit. Don't mind it. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh god, now what do I do? Oh, going down. We are going down. Oh, boy. Oh, now we're the right way up. So, whoa. Oh, wow. That was really cool transition. That was really cool. I like that. Yeah, tumbling down the rabbit hole. That was really cool. Oh, chapter four clear. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, Gavinsky, how far through this are you? What sort of chapter are you on? <laughs> Am I catching you up yet? The Inner Recesses, Chapter 5. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I need more med kits, man. Med kits are really scarce. Well, I mean, they say they're scarce. There was quite a lot at the start of the game. I just had to use them a lot. <laughs> Seems someone wants me hospitalized. I'm guessing that's where we have to go, but this is a save room, so. <laughs> Journal of Sebastian Costellanos. March 2005. The bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is Mira said yes, but even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more like him on the force and it'd be an honour working with him. Sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole on the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems like ten others are committed. The KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. Sometimes it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. Isn't that always the way? Yeah. Good, need some of those. To the savey place. Oh. Necessary for me, my ass. Okay, we weren't in our bed that time. I want to get in these doors. I don't want to know what's in here. I've been crafting bolts. Uh, when I need them, yeah. It's probably a good point. I used up a bunch in that last encounter, so I should probably definitely make some of these. It's been a while since your last visit. Has it? Ooh. Investigation stores. Case investigation serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Citing a lack of new leads. Police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. I'm assuming this is like 
Resident Evil. And, uh, like, backstory and things will be revealed through notes you can find lying around and stuff. Hmm. Right, we haven't had one from this wall. Starting from the top left here and going across, we're going to number them. I'm going to let you guys pick. So, for example, the top row has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you've got 18 choices. I've only got one key. So, you guys pick a number between one and 18, and I'll go with the most common number that pops up. Oh, I know there's ones behind me as well. It's just these ones fit on the screen. I'm just going to go for... I haven't had anything out of this bank yet. We'll go for one out of this bank. Numbers 1 to 18. I'll let you guys pick. Twenty. I didn't realise it would be this difficult for you all to do. <laughs> If you're not taking it seriously, I'm going to go with this one. Ooh, brain juice. Nice. 5,000 brain juice. Good choice, me. The only one who took it seriously. Ah, that's fine. We can do a vote next time. Uh, oh, is there a, a mirror here? Yeah, there is. Oh, we can get out this way. That's cool. Okay, we've got 9,300 brain juice to use. Weapons. Firepower. I don't really know what to go for, to be honest. Handgun ammunition is up a bit. Bolts, definitely bolts. We'll get some more bolts. Grenades, syringes. Not that we find that many, but yeah. Okay, 15 matches. <laughs> the upgrades don't look painless. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm upgrading my gun and my pockets, but you still get stabbed in the head. Alright. He is watching. We can't leave. There's better ways to upgrade yourself. Probably. Well, that's a familiar sight. From the start of the game, when it first walked past our door. Oh shit, where'd they go? That is interesting. Whoa. That was trippy. Something has clearly happened here. Well, I mean, something's clearly happened everywhere <laughs> in this game so far. But... Some crazy shit has been going down. I want to know where the other... Our other... Two policemen are. Like... The weird guy with the gloves. The other, the other policeman who went into the hospital with us at the start. The cop in the ambulance said he never came out, so we had to, but then they had to leave. But he could still be around somewhere. And the woman, the woman was not in the ambulance crash after he woke up. And the doctor survived the ambulance crash, and so did Leslie. So.
Yeah, the sus one. I was going to say, there's got to be a way to see where they're going, so I've got to find some water puddles or something for them to walk through. But the bit in the mental asylum is very outlast to me. I don't like this. I don't... ...like this. I can hear them. I don't like the look of it. With the headset on, I can hear them behind me. Give me some more brain juice. Ah, Dorian Gray. How you doing, buddy? Better not stare too long at that picture of yourself. Oh no, 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 go left. And then pistol, you go right, where I had you. I to change the bolts, is what I want to Nothing but bits! Oh, thank you for the six bits, thank you. I <laughs> appreciate the six bits. From my knowledge of Dorian Gray. Never read it. But I've seen League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And he's in there. Looks like I have to get down. I don't really want to go down. You know what, Givinsky? You were talking about crafting bolts. It'd be cool if you could craft med packs. That would be really useful. What the fuck is that? Well done, Sebastian. Breaking my window. P.S. You hate this bit. Oh, goody. Brain juice, bullets. What the fuck was that? What is. What the hell? Were you just carrying that? Thank you, little rat man. <laughs> was carrying the little statue. More bolts? I oh, know. I got like a, I did, I picked up some electric bolts, I think. I've got what have I got? Explodey bolts I got Flash bolts, regular bolts. I picked up electric bolts. Maybe I didn't. I did in the last area. I picked up some electric bolts, but maybe it was maybe that was the time I died. It was like oh, shock bolts, like really useful for hmm. Lock. shocking. Need to find a key card. So, yeah, I mean, I know, ah!
Yeah, I did have some shock bolts. But, um, maybe I didn't pick them up after I died the first time around. These invisible guys irritate the hell out of me. To no end. Do not like them. Shell. Singular. Yeah, I mean, you finished it like four times in the last few days. <laughs> you might as well carry on. I saw that. There's an invisible guy there, somewhere. Oh, he's, um, bashing the door. Don't worry. Get out of here. I hate these invisible guys so much. Like, if only there was a way to, t like, obviously, yeah, get them to go through the water and you can see their footprints or whatever, but if only there was, like, another way, like, uh, if you had the lantern on, they cast a shadow or something. Packs. Maybe some more ammunition. That looks like an office. Key card's got to be in there. Make it. Yes. All right, dead security guard. Just before I pick that up, because it's probably going to set a bunch of things up for me. Grab that. Oh, grab some more shotgun shells. This place. Hospital key card. Key covering some hospital stuff. Appears to have his blood all over it. like that at all. Get out. Stay out.
said flash bolts were quite useful because it stuns them. Maybe. Listen out. Brain juice, brain juice, give me all your brain. Um, there's the Assassin's Creed guy again. I really want to follow him if I don't have to. Ah, pistol rounds. Yes, please. Too scared to play until dawn. Like locked ourselves in a padded cell. Oh, where's the door? Oh, we don't need no education. Okay, someone with white hair who looks suspiciously like Leslie writing. Whoa. Shutting up a dude. of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms, sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point, followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. Timer, or oh, is this puzzle? Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, that is, um, neat trick. Really neat trick there. <laughs> Alright, let's try one of the other rooms first then. Unless it is just the other button, but that seems too simple. Okay, let's try this room. Underground facility note. He lies unto his own son, his own flesh and blood. It's outrageous. Gone to a better place, that hypocrite, the sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. Thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Oh, 
Oh, you can't leave the room, okay. Three cogs or four cogs? Is there anything in the room to like give this away? Ah, yeah, look, the diagram of three cogs on the wall there. Okay. Oh man, that's brutal. Did we... Did we have to do this? This is making like some Silent Hill sigil on the floor, isn't it? Right, this is where the room we went in last time, where we died because <laughs> I just pushed a random button. Dracula. A simulation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms: sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. Interesting. What do we have? We've got a Las Plagas parasite, or some kind of egg. It's like Las Plagas parasite to me. I don't know, I've not seen that film. Dracula 2000, I don't even think I've seen it. Look at a door out of blood. This is grim. They love that sound effect. I've got to get in as many times as I can. This is really cool though, where like you look through the thing and you come back out and the door's there. I like that a lot. Oh, music. Oh, the music just stops. Your mum loved Dracula 2000. <laughs> Brain and a heart. It's got flower, a sunflower, and a flower with many colors. Do you want a sunflower? Yeah, this game is really, really good. I'm really enjoying this. Whoa, that was cool. This is like this is like Silent Hill Hospital vibes I'm getting out of this. Definitely getting some Silent Hill vibes. Hey, it's the other guy. I said I said he might be alive. The weird guy with the gloves. In a bath of milk. Yeah, just pull the random lever, you don't know what it does. Play it, again. 
Yeah. Jesus. What happened? My head feels like... Like... It's fine, we're gonna win for Monday night for the next stream. So, I only have to wait like two days. We need to get out of here. Can you move? Yeah, I... Joseph! Heal partner does not consume health items. Well, how come I can heal him, but I can't heal myself? Do you have any first aid? No. I've still got a little fight left in me. No, I don't. I need it for myself. It kind of feels like they were trying to make it like co-op a little bit. So they've already implemented all the co-op stuff. And then they just made it single player. Let's get out of here fast. At least he still has his gun. That's something. And he's exercising stealth. One of these is gonna have a body in it. Or an enemy. I've played too many survival horror games <laughs> to know that opening all the lockers is not a good idea. Hold it. That guy looks like he's going to turn into one of them, though, so I'm going to offer up a tip. What? Don't burn random corpses. I've been kind of getting that vibe that I shouldn't just burn random corpses. Oil patches to your advantage. Yeah, I think I'd use the one in the last section to like set a bunch of things on fire. Burn everything! Yo, Ashnaz, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. How you been? I am cowering in terror behind the soiled mattress. I bet you they're all going to come alive. <laughs> Hold it. Come on, a little closer, a little closer. Oh yeah. Guess I forgot to put the fog lights in. I don't know why that's in my head. <laughs> Feeding the cat. Yeah, no worries, dude. Um, Always, nice good, one, brother. always good to have you here. Oh, that was delayed. <laughs> always good to have you here, man. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, that was weird. That was really delayed, that. Hadouken! No, that came through straight away. How have you been, Ash? Hope you've been having a nice weekend so far. Oh, yeah, crossbow bolts. 
got some crossbow bolts. Ah, get away from me, Mr. Man. <gasps> Medkit! Bloody good shot, sir. Bloody good shot, I say. Man, these guys don't drop any resources. I don't like that. <laughs> I like it when they drop resources. You wrote a little Discord bot today. Oh, cool. What does he do? Bloody good show. What, what, what? Start something on the floor there, I think. Three this keeper. pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Don't touch it. Do you think we can get past it? Don't touch it. Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. Oh, wow. It is disarm it. I was expecting, like, you know, his arms to come off or something. So, what does your what does your little Discord bot do there, Nationals? Or is it for your for your own Discord? It mutes and deafens people joining a movie night, so they need to react to messages to join the chat so they can watch the film in peace. Hmm, that's cool. Nice idea. Oh, he's a normal. Yeah. What is it with the sound? I thought it was something electronic. Um. That's the same thing that happened to the guy in the ambulance. Sort of commission. Nice. Did you like my sunglasses? Good lord, what is happening in there? Joseph, after Connolly, I thought... I don't know what came over me. Oh, he survived. The other cop didn't. I haven't been feeling well, but... You haven't been feeling well? Yeah, no shit. I found Look, you in, like, a weird let's just get milk out of here. bath thing. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. Having a bath in some asps milk. I'm fine. No need to worry. You sure you're fine? Yeah, you look fine. All right, up we go. I gotta say the pacing on this game is quite. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying it. Like it's not like all out loads of enemies just sneaking around constantly all the time. Like there's been quite a bit of like you know. No enemies for a while in this bit. Take the matches, man. Good boy. Ah, save room. Nice. Whoa. We need to move. Yeah, it was over that I was shooting. I didn't want to waste a bullet. <laughs> huh, usually there's like a diary entry in these places. Interesting. 
not spawning in in the bed anymore. Oh, where's the nurse gone? She was there a second ago. There she is. I appreciate the fact that this is supposed to be part of like the story and stuff, but I just want to save my game. Back to 10k? 10k what? No, no, not that way. No. 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 No. No, not that way. No. 10k goop juice. Brain juice. So many new admissions. And not a single discharge. Oh, points. Channel points. He's talking about channel points. Let go of me! Let go of me! Well, I did say I wanted to have a look at what was in these rooms. Let go of me! Let go of me! Fine. 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 Is that Leslie? This is fun. You don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. Hmm. That was interesting. That was... <sighs> that was interesting. I bet I've missed, like, a ton of those keys throughout this playthrough. 11,200 brain juice. Let's go get some more keys. Stock. You don't really use grenades that much, so there's no point grading that. Shotgun ammunition could do with a boost, to be fair. Minefield. Yeah, that's great. Let's upgrade that. And, uh... Let's actually damage five damage at level five. Oh yes. Let's get some points into those. Right, save our game. Chillin' there, man. That's fine. You chill. Oh, there she is. Kidman! Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. 
It's another trap. Look. If they didn't make a saw video game, which this is the saw video game, just with zombies. It's much more elaborate. Oh, bye. Fantastic. I mean, it shouldn't be disconnected because it is plugged in right now. I've been playing with it plugged in this whole time. So, what are you doing? <sighs> yeah, Assassin's Creed guys, John King. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you better get down here. I don't really want to, but I will. Shit, let's hurry it up. Dodge mechanic and roll to the side. Do you have any first aid? Um, no, don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> What? I was literally like right there. Hitting an enemy in the head with the bottle will stagger them and allow them to be knifed with a sneak kill. Oh, that's cool. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you better get down here. I'm fine, just like Ashton says. Just felt pretty foot. I'm coming. Shit, let's hurry it up. Satisfying kill. Ah, oh, damn, you're useless. Where is it? Where's our, where's our pal? How many of these things are there? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, drop it like a tower. Drop it like a tower. Oh yeah. Ow! What the? Nice one, brother. I'm like, oh, no. I'm in bad shape. I need help. That's much better. Who gave him dynamite? Ready 
Oh, fuck! That's <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Oh, she's swimming. Fuck. Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. Where's the dynamite? something nearby. Oh, there we are, the boss. More of them on the move. Please hurry. Really? Don't be a hero. Back oh, no, off. Mother. There we go. Shock bolts. I saw them before, but I was not Do the whole bit again now, won't I? Better after the whole bit again. That is a slog, especially with the really crap shooting controls you've got in there. Snake, are you okay? Snake, snake! Please hurry. Halfway through, at least. something nearby. Hurry, hurry. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off.
Yep, it's too scary. I shit my pants. I had to just go get a new pair of britches. Always the match on the guy. Ooh, shotgun shots. This place. Kidman needs help. Damn it. That was close. You better come have a look at this. Yeah, two seconds. Bit weird to have like a huge horde defense. Good matches, nice. Back up to fifteen matches. But I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Where do these cables go? Go up. I'll go. Tell me what to do. Okay, the water level is definitely higher than that. Yeah, she's been there for like ever, I swear. Kidman's in trouble. Yeah, no shit, buddy. Go as fast as I can. <laughs> the point goes upstairs. Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. Dead up with it. God damn dead. Leaving his mark on the floor like that where people could easily walk into it. I, mean, I don't really want to go back down there. Can I not just like jump down here? Again. Hang on, I'm coming. Down we go. Where'd they go? <laughs> the really pointless getting her out of the box. It was, to be honest.
Ah, you bit me. That's not what I wanted to do, but it works. Skeleton. That was left, yes. Good luck, skeleton. And plenty of those messages in uh, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Which, for the record, I've been actually been really enjoying Dark Souls 2 at the moment. Joseph! Yeah, and I'll go past Belfry Dark Souls and I should be enjoying Dark Souls too. Quite a lot more. No, I don't want to go into blood. Kidman, you there? Ah, bullets. And brain juice. Nice. More brain juice. 300 brain juice. Yeah, but I don't want to bathe in somebody else's blood. This does not sound good. Hang on. But a big. Big creepy long woman's down there somewhere. Okay, brain juice is cool and all, but I actually really need bullets. <laughs> There's seven bullets left. It will take a critical hit. Shot that was. Complete takedown. Where is this gimp? I have to heal you because you can't heal yourself. Do I have any heal? I do. Two or two now. Got it. Okay. Oh, if you hadn't come along. Uh, you seem to have it pretty much in hand. It looks like the door is locked from the other side. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. Yep, you go in your high heel shoes. Which is really practical for police work. Let's get going. I like how everybody's wearing a waistcoat. Quite classy of them. We should go. Okay, okay.
I bet it's gonna be like some you both all right. thing it's that like, sucks me away from these guys now and end up somewhere else. Instead of just killing you. Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Like this. <sighs> Oh, it's the long woman. I told you the long woman was that one. Another one of those doors. <laughs> Heels all walking in this crowd. Yeah, I mean, you know, congrats for being able to walk, uh, run in here. Wedding invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos and Detective Mira Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at their wedding celebration Saturday, the 17th of September 2005, at half past 12, the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City. Reception to follow. Ooh, things were hot up for Sebastian. Sebastian? Have you forgotten something? Nope. Do you have any keys? Uh, I can't remember if I've got any keys or not. Oh yes, you can run for like two seconds before you run out of stamina. Do you have any keys? Oh, I have one key. Um. Ooh, trucking shells, nice. Take them, Sebastian. A little further ahead, but in this part. Is there a chapter end at some point? Because I'd like to end the chapter when I end the stream, but this chapter's been going on for like ever. I don't know if we have enough stuff to get anything. 3,200. I might, might be able to get something. Get level three, level three regular bolts. Um, inventory. Harpoon bolts. I want to make some. They cost two parts to make. Here we go. Okay, run along machine part. Uh, machine parts. Parts. Oh look, back with a mannequin friend. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't saved. Good shot. Have you forgotten? It's cool that it's got this like whole area for you to go in and save. Something but, like it takes forever to get in and out of it if you just want to pop in and save and come back out. It does feel like a proper Resident Evil save room though, like going in there. Give me any scrap. Ow! Oh, what? Oh, 
Okay, I was collecting the stuff on the floor because I thought it was bullets. One pistol round left. Don't compliment them on their throwing skills. Whoa. All right. What was the trigger for that? Trigger for that trap. What did I did I set that off? Or was it just to show me that that's a thing? No, it's called green gel. Ah, matches. Yo, go back. Go back for what? Back. What? What now? Back to the future. It's your kids. Something's got to be done about your kids, Sebastian. <laughs> Where are we going? We don't need. Here. This wasn't open before, I swear. Option to activate that. The hit trackers thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just. That works for me. I love it if they'd like. Just get it right on the cusp, but stand up. It still counts as you set them on fire, so they, they just fall over and die. Just burn up. Dagger and crossbow, which will temporarily freeze struck opponents, except for certain enemies, the target will break apart after freezing. Awesome. That is really fucking cool. Anyone gonna drop down on me? You gonna drop down the ladder or something? What's next? This place. Oh yeah, with the smashy plates. The smashy plates of doom.
Good, good. We like oil spills. They're useful. Ah. The Red Room of Death. This feels like a trap. What else have I got? Uh, I've got two. Excuse me. Cause it was a trap, it was a trap, it was her. I get stuff. The spiky trap! The spiky trap, yes! Seems to work. Okay, we got her. Interesting. I reckon she's gonna. We're gonna have to like fire or something. Yeah. What was that? Oh, oh, is that a bat with a statue on its head? It is. Skeet shooting. <laughs> that kills people, Carl. Oh, Carl. Well, I need to get some stealth kills on some people to get some. Okay, so she does. Body teleportation. That looks like a furnace, Resident Five Star. Resident Evil 5 Furnace. This is a furnace. Okay, right. Now we're cooking with whatever the hell she is. Maybe... Because it's cool as cucumber, that's how. Okay, maybe we need to destroy all the bodies. So she can't teleport out of there and then just drop her into the furnace. Literally, all I want to do is just finish the chapter. Because <laughs> that would be a good place to call, this, call it a day on the stream. And... Uh, Give this a couple more tries. If we can't get past it, we've got a save point and check. Point.
like that's an instant kill. She goes, 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 she Okay, okay. We did it, we did it. We got this. If I can do this, you can definitely do this, man. We'll give this a couple more tries. We can't get past it. We've got a checkpoint. That's a good place to end the stream. And then we can come straight back here in guns blazing with this boss fight. <laughs> Brian Juice. Who's Brian? Why, why are you after his juice? Yeah, man. Stick around for the strap. Oh, no. I was like, hit her with the torch, so his roundhouse kicked her in the face instead. Okay, there's no furnace, that's good to note. Okay. I think we can do that, I think we just got hit with everything that's fire. To kill her, and then we're, and then we're laughing. Oh, in not fuzz. Fire. Da, da, da. Choo, 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 da. to see if she went in <laughs> and I went in myself <laughs> fuck pretty much no nah, all right we got this we got this so you so penis. run in burn the corpse that she's coming out of shoot lure to the barrel shoot the barrel run into that furnace try and drop her into that furnace straight away then grab one of the torches in case we need it, and try and drop her into the other furnace. Go around to the stairs at the top. But, yeah, you need to. Let's 
torch and I was just spawning in that corpse over there. We need to destroy all the corpses because then she can't spawn and then we can drop her into one of the furnaces. Goop juice, brain juice. Spoken. There you go, Gavinsky. There's your strap. Take care of all the corpses around the arena. Make sure you've got like a flaming torch or something that you can hit her with if you need to, and then try and drop her into one of the furnaces. Uh, I guess you're gonna have to drop her into both furnaces because. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, for, thank you for the GG's. Oh, and there's a barrel here you can use against her. Didn't notice that. Well, this is strap, man. you got to get rid of all the corpses so she has nowhere to, to teleport to, and then drop her into the... into the... into the, what, the furnace. I guess you've got to do both furnaces, because... because there's corpses in both, so if you do that in one furnace, she'll just teleport to the next furnace. Dark Laws, hello, how are you doing? What's up tonight? Thank you for coming by, what's what's up man? How you doing? You been well? I don't think you've got enough matches. Hmm, that's worrying. Um, I don't know, can you burn the corpses with like the... Shiny hunting and dying for them. Oh, you playing um, Pokemon? Go, <laughs> go. Which Pokemon are you playing? Subject's case history cites developmental delays, indicates issues with communication, social cognition, this is weird. This repetitive is... behaviors, signs of synesthesia reported. This guy uh, is that... suggests increased susceptibility is to that... external stimuli, Le... pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these He's years? He's in one of these baths that that other guy was in. Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. What are you doing to him? Leave him alone. Oh. Yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I'm literally just going to get to the next um, end of the chapter, and uh, I think that's a good place to end the, end the stream. Pokemon Shield, nice. Have you played Pokemon Shield before? Uh, I'm wounded, sir, so I'm taking the afternoon off. Ta -da. Okay, so you don't burn them. Pull the things out of their heads. Yeah, like a hundred more lurks and they'll, they'll be running in full. Oh yeah, Dark Lords, have you been playing have you played Pokemon Shield before or are you uh, first played through it? End of the chapter. Epic. Nice 
one, brother. That's a good place to, to finish for the evening, I think. I think we've made some serious okay. fun. You ever played Pokemon Shield before? Ah, oh, nice one. So, um, what's uh, what Pokemon you after then in shiny format? Close that down. All right, cool. So, yeah, uh, Dark Lords, you joined us just right at the end of the stream there, I think. Um, ah, there we go. Get some light in here. Go off my eyes. <laughs> um, basically, we're just playing The Evil Within for the first time ever. I've never played it before, so I'm playing it uh, completely blind going into it. So that was really, really fun. Just, just beat a boss, which was quite tricky that 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 boss was so that that was that's really fun so i'm really looking forward to playing this again i'm going to be playing this again on monday if you want to stop in again dark laws um didn't really have too much of a chance to talk to you so it's a bit of a shame but if you want to stop in again uh don't forget to you can drop us a follow or you can join my discord whichever one you want to do and um that'll tell you when i'm going live again it should be monday night we're going to be carrying on with um carrying on with this carrying on with the uh what's it called the evil with him because uh that is really fun i'm really interested in the story actually because i have no idea what's going on it just goes from like weird random set piece to weird random set piece to weird random set piece so i'm really interested to find out what's going on with the weird random set pieces and what's causing them and what what like like the main story was so um yeah um there's my discord dark laws if you want to drop in you can you're more than welcome um feel free to have a little poke about have a little uh drop some Drop some memes, drop some links, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, so that was Evil Vim. Really, like I said, just said that was really, really fucking cool. I'm really interested in that that game. That's really, that's really gripped me. Come back for more now. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that Monday, Monday night. We're gonna do that. Um, um but yeah. Uh, that, that was cool. Um, I'm assuming you're a fan of the Evil Within, uh, Dark Laws, if you, uh, if you were dropping into our stream there, or you're just picking streams at random, whichever one. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by either way. Um, okay, you can go ahead now and suggest who to raid. Who would you, who would you like us to raid? We're going to finish the evening with a little cheeky raid on somebody. tonight just drop in share the love spread the twitch love we do we do love to share the twitch love around go on then hit me with your hit me with the suggestion you said you had a suggestion yeah Peps is a good shout. We like Peps. Uh, anyone who's there lurking who doesn't know, uh, Pepper Ledev is a cool guy. Um, he's been very friendly. He's always very friendly. And uh, he likes to play cool games and has not... Um, uh, he popped in earlier to say hi and everything, so I think we should just uh, pay it forwards and, and go and see him. But Dark Lords, thanks for stopping by right here. Now, I do appreciate that. Um... I hope to see you in our next stream. If you fancy coming by, I do hope to see you in the next stream. Uh, but for now, we are going to go... We're going to raid. Pip here. Uh, no, there's no other scores. Le. Dev. So, yeah, cool. Once again, thanks for coming, guys. Really appreciate uh, you all coming along tonight. That was really, really fun playing it. It's the first ever blind game, so it's going wicked. Uh, looking forward to that. Monday night, we're going to carry on with that. Thanks for coming, guys. You're all legends. Love each and every one of you. Let's do this. Ray! Thanks, Fiddler, for the Ray! How's it going, man? How did uh, the Evil Within go? 
apologies. I don't know if anyone was watching this, but just in case. If anyone else is watching uh, this, I think can with fear, go check him out. He's a really cool dude. He plays mostly survival horror games. They are super fun, they are super cool. Uh, he's awesome and his community is awesome. So go check him out. Also, he's a really incredible because he has done 20 hour streams. So, my tip my heart to you like from 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. on the other day, streaming non stop 20 different games. He was unbelievable. Go follow him now. No problems, uh, Phil. Like, thanks for the raid, thanks for coming, thanks uh, to everyone to come for coming. So, yeah. Fuck. So we are doing the last of the set of the extra levels and I blew this up. Yeah, it is. Do you notice the cap already? For anyone who doesn't know this game, this is Celeste, it's uh, as you can see a platformer game. It's, it's even in, in chapters uh, and they are all really difficult. Uh, now I'm playing the set of extra levels that it has, they are even more difficult. So yeah, I'm suffering a lot with them. <laughs> 